Well, I'm going to do a review on the Zone Chaos Pump. Here's mine. It came with the free GXS 50 round hopper from Paintball Gateway. And I have uh, War Games. I think it's a Karner 2P687 barrel. I'm going to show you the packaging quick. It comes in this box. Pretty actually, pretty nice box. Oh, where I stick my barrel? This is a stock barrel. Eh. Triad system really doesn't work that well, especially with the paint getting so small. So right out of box, I recommend you get a really small barrel. I kind of chinsed out and you get a CP CP one piece, and I'm a real big fan of them. So I'm kind of killing myself for it right now. Well, I'm gonna talk about the good and the bad of the gun. The good is it does have a clamping feed neck for $150. One problem with it though, loader comes goes right in, right out. Even I'll clamp it down, it'll still go in. Well, hey, it actually works for once. Piece of crap. It's bolt out back, pull pin bolt, bolt kind of like an ego. Well, stock barrel, not too bad, but the rollouts. I definitely recommend a barrel, or if you have a barrel kit already, you'll be fine. Barrel tongue should stuck in there. That's pretty nasty and it's annoying. Actually, I had that happen to me at the field. Front of the barrel on screen, the back stayed on the gun during the middle of the game. Pump stroke is actually pretty nice. Not too hard to maintain. Pull the bolt out. Pull the back cap. Unscrew it. Pull this out. Put some oil on your string. On your spring. If you want, you can put some on your striker. Screw it back in. Put the bolt back in. Plop it down. Half the time you'll end up doing that where it won't catch the striker. And that's annoying because it takes a while to get the bolt back in. Yep, my striker's still in there, but. Hey, it's a $150 pump, though. What do you want? Well, it doesn't have a regular, which is kind of a bad thing on it, but it still shoots pretty nice. Worst I've gotten was I was using CO2 because my tank's kind of screwed up. My gauge from A&S is broken. So I do CO2 for the day. Uh, I was going 682, 684, 696, 273, and then 684 again. So it's not too bad. It's not too good. The tent system's kind of weird. With it being a closed bolt pump. I would recommend the small barrel like I said before. It really helps out with rollouts. Yeah, it's a good pump gun. Uh, the ASA is mounted straight onto onto the trigger frame. Kind of annoying, but you can put your rail on it. Like I'm thinking about when I get my new ASA for my Proto SLG. Put the old ASA on here. Run macro line then. Detents, eh, they only stop from double feeding, not really doing their job. One thing I will bust them on though, it is annoying. I'm not the only one who's complained about this. No Hitman mod. It, this is annoying. It's a flimsy piece of metal, but when you go to re sell the gun, you won't get as much because you're missing the Hitman mod. Well, that's about all I have to say about the uh, Zone Cat.